Um, first, let me thank Sheriff Fitzgerald for his incredible leadership throughout this process. Um, Sheriff, people across Wisconsin, and I suspect across this country, are overjoyed that Jamie is finally safe. This was an effort that involved numerous law enforcement agencies, more than I have time to name. Uh, and I want to thank everybody who participated in this investigation. Uh, I want to thank everybody in the community who volunteered, uh, who played a role, who supported this investigation, and who supported law enforcement. I want to say that I am incredibly proud of the work that uh, the Department of Justice played in assisting uh, with this investigation. Uh, the Department of Justice will continue to assist as needed uh, with the investigation and with the prosecution of this case. And uh, the work that got done uh, is uh, really, I, I don't think I've seen this much work done on any one case I've been involved in in my entire career. And the friendships and the professionalism of all agencies at the local, state, and federal level uh, have just been um, beyond what anybody could really expect. Uh, the FBI brought in resources from all over the country. Uh, DOJ had our resources. Uh, we're here on the ground today trying to uh, help the community recover. Our victim witness people are up here along with uh, those from uh, the local and federal level. Um, there's a lot of people uh, that are very emotional about uh, the recovery of Jamie. It's a happy thing. Uh, but now we have to work on the recovery process and, and we've reached out to a lot of professionals uh, to help uh, this young lady and her family uh, as they're reunited and uh, she goes through a new healing process. So we uh, ask that you just please respect the family today as we try to get this uh, work through. Uh, there'll be time for uh, questions and interviews on that later. What a glorious day. This will certainly never be forgotten. There's so much love and hugs in our district today. It's just insurmountable. Jamie has been found safe and has been reunited with her family and friends. There is truly nothing in the world better than that. Now I would like to take time to address a few of the common questions that have come our way last night and this morning from all of you. What has it been like in the Barron Area School District in the past months? It has been 88 days of hope for her safe return, 88 days of prayers for Jamie, her family, friends, our students, staff, and community. 88 days of holding on to the faith that our authorities would never give up, and they certainly did not. Finally, 88 days of our close-knit community with the same goal in mind, and that was to bring Jamie home and back into our arms.